Hi and welcome back to Dirt Bike Magazine's video series, The 20s, where we take you up close and personal with all the 2020 motocross models. Today, we get our first chance to ride the 2020 Husky FC 250. The FC 250 was brand new, basically from the ground up last year. So this year, they're just kind of refining a few things, getting the bike to have a little bit more overall rider comfort, and maybe add a little bit more performance as well. The major thing for Husky this year is that they have a suspension setting that's exclusive to Husky itself. They went with the same spring rates from last year, but there is internal valving changes and updates to the fork, and the shock got some additional adjustment capabilities. The suspension is still WP components, but now they have a new name. They're the exact fork and the exact shock. Two maps are still accessible on the handlebar via the switch. You can do traction control and launch control on the same switch. Mapping, they say this year, is identical to last year. They do have an option on the airbox cover. There's one with slits in it that allows more air in, and there's one that's closed off. For all the in-depth specs on this motorcycle, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com or if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link that's in the description and it'll take you right to all the in-depth specs. But that's enough talking, we're gonna go ride. So we just got done with our first day of testing on the 2020 Husky FC 250. The rider you'll see in the video is Sean Lepinovich, um, but we did have more people riding the bike on the first day of testing. A couple things that jumped out at us right away, the airbox cover with the slits in it naturally does give the bike a little bit more power throughout, a little bit more bottom in. It is slightly louder, not really noticeable like maybe not really noticeable like the KTM airbox, but it does have a little bit more sucking sound to it. Mapping wise, our guys like the, on the tighter tracks, they like the number one map. The number two map, you, it kind of builds up and it, it takes a lot of momentum to get up into the revs. Once you're in the revs, it makes really good power, but it's hard to keep it there. In the suspension department, Husky, like we said before, has their own settings, their own valving internally and everything that is exclusive to Husky. We think they did a good job on this one. We did slow the shock down for all of our test riders likings. It felt like it was kicking a little bit. So we went in on compression and then on the high speed, we went in a half a turn as well. The bike likes to be ran about 104 millimeters of sag and that's pretty universal for all the test riders. Everybody did comment on how much more rider friendly this bike is. Last year we felt some harshness and we're not sure if it was in the fork or the shock, but overall the bike just initially felt a little harsh. This year all that's gone away. The bike seems to be softer overall. Even some of our lighter test riders liked it. For them it stayed up in the stroke a little bit more and for our heavier guys and our faster guys, it went down in the stroke a little bit more, but never having that harsh feeling. Overall, after our first day of testing, we liked the direction that Husky went. They improved rider comfort with the suspension. They gave it a little bit more power with the airbox cover. Will it be enough? We don't know. We gotta wait till we compare it to all the other motorcycles. After the first day of testing, we're happy and we look forward to putting a lot more time on this motorcycle. If you got a little bit more time, check out the other videos we have on the 2020 250 four strokes. Click the video thumbnail now. And as always, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com for the latest off-road and motorcycle industry news.